welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of Java programming. Our viewer has posed an intriguing question about implied anonymous types inside lambdas. So what exactly is the question? Our viewer highlights an uncommon usage of anonymous classes, particularly in the context of lambdas and streams. They discovered that you can create an anonymous type and use its members in a way that might surprise many developers. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In this video, we'll explore the concept of implied anonymous types inside lambdas in Java. This technique allows us to create anonymous classes on the fly, which can be particularly useful in certain scenarios. Let's start with a simple example. Here, we define a string and create an optional object that holds an anonymous class with a single field. We then use a map operation to access that field. Now let's discuss a practical application. Suppose we have a list of people and we want to convert each person to a JSON representation while also keeping track of their IDs. Using an implied anonymous type, we can achieve this elegantly. However, there are some limitations to be aware of. For instance, if you try to use the implied type in separate lines of code, you may encounter compilation errors. This is because the fields are not accessible outside the anonymous class context. Finally, let's address some common questions. Is this technique documented? What are its limitations? And is it safe to use? While this feature is not extensively covered in the Java language specification, it can be a powerful tool when used correctly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Lambdas allow for type inference by the compiler, meaning it can deduce types without explicit declarations. However, these inferred types cannot be named directly due to language restrictions. For example, you might think of an anonymous type as something like a stream of an unnamed type. But if you specify a type like optional object, it breaks the inference. In Java 10 and later, you can create anonymous types more easily using var. This allows the compiler to infer the type while still accessing its properties. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The question asks if implied anonymous types in lambdas are documented in the Java language specification. The response clarifies that this isn't a special case needing documentation. It explains that anonymous class members can be accessed directly, similar to local classes. An example shows how a local class can access its private members outside its scope. The compiler creates an inner class for each anonymous class, allowing method chaining to work correctly.
When breaking the chain of method calls, the reference defaults to the object type, which explains why direct access fails. The response concludes that this construction works as long as the anonymous type is represented by a generic type variable. The user suggests using the Java P command to see the details of how anonymous types are handled in bytecode, confirming the behavior discussed. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.